Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. In this video, we're going to show you three things. How to hook up a robotic head, the Poly from Seer Vision, how to set it up and connect it to a DOP, and lastly, how to get the UI up and running. Enjoy. Before I actually dive in, uh, this also applies to most of the other robotic heads that we support, like the MRMC or ROS ones. We're just going to talk specifically about uh, the Seer Vision Poly head here um, to drive the examples. What I want to start off with is the backside. You'll notice that we've got a series of ports here and a series of ports here. And what we actually did is that we looped all of these connectors neatly through into that ring so that you don't have to worry about the movement of the head while you've got the camera mounted on there. What you'll actually need to hook up this head are two SDI cables, one short one and a, well, one that is as long as you need it to be. You'll need an Ethernet cable and you'll need a power cable for your camera and a power cable for the head itself. Lastly, you'll also need a connector for the lenses, but we'll talk about that in more detail afterwards. Um, so for the powering of your camera, you can easily use the D-tap here or the, the four poles power. And then you've got two SDIs that'll loop through to the corresponding two SDIs here. So at the bottom of the base, we've got these two SDIs, we've got the Ethernet port, and then obviously the power connector with the power switch. All right, let's hook up the camera. The first thing you want to do is grab the SDI signal from your camera and somehow feed it to the head. I'll take SDI port one here. And then the second thing you want to do is to actually provide it with power. So we'll use the, the four pole power connector here and neatly plug it into the poly here. Now, before moving on to the base, uh, let's briefly talk about lens actuation. What we've got here on this side of the camera are the actual three lens motors that are going to actuate the rings. In this particular case, I'll hook it up to the PD movie port, which is at the top. We've got uh, a whole separate video dedicated to actually how to hook up these lens motors. It's a bit more complicated or it's a bit of an art, so we'll go there in more depth about it. So let's focus on the base of the head. Um, I've got this handy dandy, nicely sleeved pair of cables of everything that we'll need. So SDI1 goes to SDI1. Make sure to always pay attention to that. I've not done that multiple times and then be surprised why it doesn't work. So let's just go ahead and plug in the SDI to SDI1. The Ethernet, so this is about controlling the head. This is how we're going to be steering our, our head here. Plug that into the Ethernet port. And then lastly, our power connector in there, and we can power on the head. Good, so with everything hooked up, the next step is going to be to actually control and move this head, and we're gonna do that with the DOP, so let's cut to that. Now, the DOP is the brain of Siri Vision. It's where all the magic happens. Um, if you were to open up this DOP, you just mostly find a really large graphics card and an SDI capture. And what essentially happens is it takes the images, computes them, and sends out control to the robotic head in order for it to move. Um, this sticker identifies which DOP this is. You're unlikely to have it, but what we do include on all our DOPs is the serial number. And if you'll remember, it said DOP9 on the front of this sticker, and here the last digits of the serial number are 09. Now, why am I telling you this? This 09, number 9, is relevant because it's going to define your IP of where you're going to find the DOP. That's going to be relevant later on when we talk interface. Now, let's talk about the actual cabling that goes into the DOP. The most important parts are going to be the STI, the power, and the Ethernet. So, input from the camera goes into the top SDI port. The Ethernet, which we will be using to send the commands to the robotic head, and obviously the power cable. All right, so with everything that we've done and hooked up previously, the DOP should be ready to go. Now, what I did in this particular scenario is that I hooked up the DOP, its Ethernet connection, to this little switch over here, and I hooked up this laptop to that same switch. I'll have to say, bringing up the interface of the DOP, which is serving, is a bit of an art form. You can't do it via the HDMI ports. We've disabled those to save resources, so you have to go via the network. There is help at seervision.com, where you can just access the page and take a look at our documentation on how to access the interface, 
or you can just shoot us an email. We're pretty responsive and we'll help you out with your design choices on the, on the network. So just let us know. We can help you find the IP and get the interface up and running. So with that, we're pretty much done when it comes to hooking up hardware. Now the good stuff starts with actually getting into the UI and getting into our features in the next chapter.